Clara Knudsen Dorsher. It's from pictures from Marjorie Dorsher Johnson from my family albums. This is my grandfather, Knut Horvick, who came to the United States August 6, 1889, along with his wife, Hannah, who was then 18, and their son, Cornelius, who was eight months old. That's Grandma Hannah. This was at a picnic, probably a family reunion in Itasca State Park, probably the late 30s or 1940. This was a picture of a building in Voss, Norway, which is where Grandpa came from. Grandmother came from further north. There's all their daughters who were gotten together for a family portrait. There's mother when she was a child. She's on the left. And that's Aunt Emma on the right. Let's picture her mother. She's down on the left. And those are two of her cousins. I'm sorry, I don't know their names. This is a picture of mother when she was confirmed in the, cat in the Lutheran church in Fertile. That's Mother and Emma as young women. Very nice. This is a beautiful portrait of Aunt Nora, taken when she was a young woman. Look at the beautiful white, roughly dress. That's Aunt Frances. She's got the kind of glasses we wear today. And look at the clips in her hair to hold it down. Isn't that pretty? There's my dad. He worked for this in the sawmill in Grand Forks, North Dakota. And uh, this was before he became uh, a railroad man. Just a couple years before, because he started the railroad as a young man also. Here he is, brand new suit and a new straw hat and he liked to dress, he liked his clothes. Notice the watch fob on his uh, lapel. And there he is again. And nice young man. I suppose these are studio pictures. They always look kind of stern. They didn't do much smiling. There's mother and dad's wedding picture, and that was October 4th, 1915. Look at the beautiful flowers. Veil. They look like they're ready to take on the world. They had 11 children. And they, here's mother and dad in Grand Forks. This must be shortly after they bought the house at 1124 because I recognize that building second down. There they are. There's mother with Mert and Nora and four of her little children. I think she had five of, five of them under the age of five at that time. And she had her hands full. This is a picture of Aunt Mert. I imagine it was taken at the Standard Oil Company. And this is mother's cousin very best friend uh, and these are the Sam Knutson family when Anna Marie was a baby there's Fran and Mert and my mother and this was taken probably for 1940 before mother had her hair cut she wore it in a bun pulled in the back and that's Patty in the window there so there's mom and dad doing dishes they did everything together they had a happy life. There's Mert, uh, about 1940, and this is at Detroit Lakes. She just loved to go there on her vacations. She loved to swim. Liked the water. Very nice. This is Grandma with all her, I think all her daughters are there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm missing one. So there she is again lined up. Mother was the oldest, so she's right behind Grandma. There's the aunts. This was taken in Fargo, and this was probably 1940. 
There's Emma's family, Emma and Einar Broughton, and their five boys. Nice looking family. There's uh, Francis and Nora in their fur coats. Now, aren't they beautiful? You wouldn't dare wear them today. And look at the hats. There's mom and dad. This is in the good old summertime in 1944. There's two stars in the window. They actually had four sons go into the service, two during the war and a couple of them uh, shortly thereafter. There's uh, Fran and Paul and Eva in 1948, 49, and this is out in California. There's Fran and me in 1945. I was still in high school. There's mom and me, and that was the year I got married. Uh, this was in December 48. Mother was 58 years old, 57. Look at her hair is still dark. They didn't use hair dye. <laughs> There's Jen with mom and dad at the lake in California, and this was 1952. There's uh, Sam Knutson and his family, my mother down front there. We were visiting them in Portland, Oregon. We were living in Kelso at the time. There's even Paul and Jen. They pulled that trailer clear across country. There's mom, dad, and Art, Jen's husband, out of Joshua Forest, in California. <coughs> this is Eva and Francis all dressed up. I suppose they've been out shopping. Look at the neat hat. There's mom, dad, and me in 1953 in our backyard. I've got my Easter bonnet on. That's Eva and Paul and Pally. I remember Pally very well. That was 1953. This is 1953. This is in California at uh, our house. That's this was uh, 1954, and this was in San Diego. This visiting even Paul, mother and dad. That's Art on the left. There's my husband on the right. And dad and Eva horsing around there a little bit, having a good time. We went to Mexico that year also with them. There's Eva and me, and I didn't want my picture taken, but she caught me and we had it taken. And there's Dad and Mom and Jen out at the lake with Art's favorite car. It was a Nash Ambassador. Boy, he loved that car. There we are at the back of my house. This was shortly after Sammy was born. That's Jen in the background. There's Eva and Francis by Harris Company Clock. I think Harris was a great big department store in uh, California. And there they're taking a picture of us out in front of our house. And this was 1954. There's Eva, Jen, and Mert. And there's the rest of us that's still at our house in California in 1954, Riverside, California. Sam was just a few months old. There's the aunts at my mother's house in Grand Forks. They used to come and visit once or twice a year, and it was always a fun time. There's uh, Eve, Paul, Jen and Art in one of those cars. This is Aunt Emma, who we visited out, I think it's in Monoman in 1956. Mom and... Uh, George and I drove out with our family. There's mom and dad and Mert at mom and dad's new house in 1956. You can see dad was getting older at that point. Oh. There's Patty with mom and dad, the house. Mm, Patty looked cute. And there are the aunts at Christmas time and that was taken in I think in Fargo, but I'm not too sure. And there's Virgie's at Virgie's wedding. That's me down in the corner in 1957. And that's uh, Mert and Gert. And this is a Christmas card that we received from Paul and Nora. And isn't that a beautiful picture? In their house by the fireplace. That's Dad and uh, his fireman getting ready to get on the train. And there's Dad, Harold, and Kenneth doing their favorite, playing Pinnacle and drinking coffee. 
there's dad with his supervisor going over a schedule and that was in 1956 58 shortly before he died there's dad getting on this train and there he is taking uh, his grandson Tommy Dorsher Kenneth's boy for a ride on the train there's dad in his work outfit he really enjoyed being an engineer he was very proud that he was an engineer he loved North Dakota and looking at the planes as he was driving his train. Neat guy. There's mom. That picture was taken especially for as she was president of the Ladies Auxiliary Ladies Engineer Wives Club. There's mom for her 72nd birthday at my house in Grand Forks. This was 1962. There's Sam with his two sisters. And then there's my sister down there. They were visiting in uh, Seattle. They, Sam lived in Portland and they visited back and forth. There's brother Lloyd with the sisters. Uh, it was taken in 1961. Nice picture. There's mom with Virgie and Patty and Virgie and Patty are having fun. They think they were relaxing. There's mom in Seattle visiting uh, her daughter Clara. Clara's building a house. This was at mom's birthday party in 1961 at my house in uh, Grand Forks. That's, we're visiting uh, Nora and Oscar at their house in Fargo. And then here we are at the aunts in 1964. <coughs> they always brought out the food. They always ate when we got there and there's mom with the aunts. We were living in Grand Forks at the time so we used to go quite often to Grand to Fargo. There we are in Portland with Sam, Ann and family in 1967. We were either on our way back to California or leaving. There's Uncle Sam with Hermelia. There's my mother and I in Grand Forks and that was in 1967. So why we're happy looking. This is mom with her granddaughter Arlene in 1969 and Arlene's two children. Look how beautiful Arlene is. And there's mom with me and Virgie and little Margie and little Karen. And uh, that's Eva and Nora and they're visiting Eva and that's in San Diego I'm sure. And that's Nora pruning some of Eva's plants for her. She looks like she's enjoying it. I think she liked gardening. There's Eva and Paul and their dog. They always had a nice dog. They loved the animals. So. There we are visiting the aunts again. And uh, this was 1971. There's Harold and Pat and my mother just enjoying ourselves. And this was at Mother's birth 80th birthday party, 1971. It was held in the park in Grand Forks, North Dakota. All the children came home for it, and the aunts came from Fargo. They were always very supportive of our family, and they loved Mother, I'm sure. There's Gertrude shaking hands with Gus. So we had a wonderful time. There's Frances with her boyfriend, Peter. She always called Peter her boyfriend. And there's all the women gathered for a picture. That's me down front with uh, Virgie next to me. Clara's behind me. Me Pearl's in there right next to Mother. There's Mother with her sisters, and this was at her 80th birthday. Her hair was still pretty dark. So, and that was at Mother's house. This was taken in Fargo, and I think it was 1973. This was uh, the year Sam graduated. There's Grandma Hannah's chair that she likes so well that the aunts took very good care of. And uh, Carrie, that's daughter Carrie sitting in. That's Paul, I think he's got a new car there in 1972, whatever it is. He and Art really like their cars. There's, uh, Ruth, Gus's wife, Pat, that's Harold's wife, and that's my mother, and that was in 1975. 
here we are visiting the aunts again. As you can see, we did a lot of visiting the aunts. There's mother, there's Francis and Peter, and there's... There we all are, and there's baby Robert. So that was 1973. We were home for Sam's graduation from college. So there we all are together. Uh, see, Oscar managed to make it, and Dick was there, and that's George back in the background there. This was taken in 1973. That's George, that's Sam with his... Uh, graduation outfit on and my mother and little baby Robert. There's mom with great grandson Ted, taken in 1975. Mother was 90 years old, I believe. And there's uh, a group of us, along with Dick in the background, taken October 1977. And there's a nice picture of Dick. Isn't that neat? That neat looking. And there we are, the aunts are preparing us food again. We always had coffee and something good to eat. There are the aunts, and it's a very nice picture of them. I'm not too sure, just twinned in the 70s, I think. And there we are, 1978, visiting mother at the nursing home. There's, uh, Sam, Peter, Margie, Carrie, and me down front there with Mom. Oh, that was in 1978 also. And here were the aunts that came for Mother's birthday. We were celebrating her birthday, so they came for cake and coffee. <clears throat> they visited her whenever they could. And that's Sister Binky right behind me in this picture. Mother's down front. There's Francis and Gert on the right. And this is also at that birthday party, and that was in 1980. Here we are, 1980, with Mom at the nursing home. That's George, and that's Sam, and that's Robert, and Mother and I. So, and there I am trying to tell Mom something, or she's trying to tell me something. She was. Still fairly alert when this was taken. There's Sam, Anne, and myself, and this was taken at the Knudsen reunion in 1980 at Fertile, Minnesota. And there we are with Sam, Sammy and Hermelia at the same reunion, the Knudsen reunion in 1980. That was a fun time for everybody. Here we are visiting mom at the nursing home in 1980. That's Margie, Carrie, there's Marianne, there's Sam. We all, uh, they were all very good to spend time with Mother. And there's Francis and Mom at Mom's 90th birthday in 1981. This was at the nursing home. She had her stroke when she was 88. There's Kenneth, Mickey, Virgie, that's me on the left with Mom at our 90th birthday party. There's Mickey and Mom and little Robert giving Grandma a hug. There's all the, the attendants, the women that uh, came to Mother's 90th birthday party. It was a nice, nice time. Headed at the nursing home. And this was at uh, Meryl and Mickey's daughter's wedding. And this was 1982. Uh, this was at the wedding. This is Peter, Francis, and me. So, beautiful wedding. And there's uh, Fran and Gert and George and Robert. And we were visiting them. There's Marianne, who graduated from the U, and Sam, and they were visiting Mother. And there's Fran and Gert in 1986 at their apartment in Fargo. Isn't that night? Neat, neat. And there I am with them in the apartment. And we're, we had a nice visit with them always. That's, uh, there I am with Mother and Virgie, and that was in 1986 also. 
There's daughter Margie. She and uh, Mary Ann, Sam's wife, always tried to decorate mother's room, so they visited her often. And there's Margie trying to get some information out of mother. She liked to go and listen to her. It was 1986. And there's mom in the nursing home. Pretty much confined to a wheelchair by this time. But she, she was still able to smile. And enjoyed, enjoyed it whenever anybody could come to visit her. She's a good mother. A wonderful mother. A great mother. And that was it. She died in 1988.